Wakanda forever indeed. We are bringing you guys another gauntlet series tonight. This one is going to star Black Panther. This is actually fitting because um, the new version of What If is coming out in December, as you all know. Uh, shameless plug. Check our latest video reaction to that. Um, so this is our little version of What If. So what if Black Panther had to fight the Spider-Man villains? Could he do it? Let's talk about Just it. Before we get into question. that, though, let's, let's ask what, what if. <laughs> Let me introduce the guys. Live from the man cave, it's Caleb K, the mama on a god. Leo, what's happening? Literally, the man to relax. <laughs> Deep in the heart of Texas. Man, listen, it's Wendy's. What's happening? The bomba! The bomba! <laughs> Uh, spread love is the Brooklyn way. Big Chase, what's happening? Oh, he's got the shirt on and everything. I didn't realize. Wakanda, forever. Right. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. And I, and I, of course, am your man in the chair, A.A. Ron. No more, no more talk. Let's just get right into the gauntlet. What are we talking about? Black Panther versus Spider-Man villains. Very interesting. We're going to start off at Craven the Hunter. Today he's hunting <laughs> Panthers. Probably yeah, not gonna go well. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he and and listen, and, and I'm not taking nothing away from Craven the Hunter because he is formidable. He's he's you know obviously familiar with being in the jungle. He's used to uh, um, hunting tactics and all that, but he he, he gets no win against the Black Panther. He definitely gets no win against the Black. Way Panther. out of his league on this one. Way Ooh. out. Of his his mental capacity can't even fucking handle Black Panther. He's just fucking done done. Yeah, yeah, he's done done. You bring his ass back and put him up on the wall and what kind why, why do I feel like <laughs> why do I feel like we always start with like a guppy? It's just like a, <laughs> it's like a sacrificial a, land. Not to say <laughs> the craven's a guppy, but it's like it's kind of like a the warm-up fight. You know what I mean? Nah, like, he is he's a guppy. Yeah, it's a guppy. Compared to Black Panther, he's a guppy. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. I'm not even gonna try to say his full name. I know it's Alexi. I have no idea how you say his last name. It's it's Russian. I don't know. Fuck that. <laughs> But uh, Rhino, speaking of mantelpieces, um, Yo. you know, listen, I was just telling them, Rhino's fucking strong, man. Just yeah, because cool. we don't, you know, Rhino's strong, bro. Look, I'm glad that he's strong. But let me tell you how this fight ends. <laughs> Rhino will end up in the Wakanda Zoo. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. Damn, bro. In the zoo, son. In the zoo? On display? In the zoo. That's where he's going to be, son. You see how he's running down with his head and his horn right there? That's a swift uppercut right to the face. Yo, L listen. So, Rhino's strong, mm. but is his hide stronger than Vibranium? Okay, I just wanted to just check that. Okay, just all right. So we can go go Did back. It? We can go back. Did it? Go. it so right. also even <laughs> funny. Even in the MCU, didn't we actually see Black Panther take down a rhinoceros running at him? Didn't he stop one full board? He sure the hell did. He just like fucking stopped it and sat it down. And, yep. Like sit and start, and start yeah. cutting that bastard. Like, yeah, right, bro. Yeah. Right, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. All right. Now we're talking about obviously, this is the we're, we've gone up a tier in Spider Man villains here, villain lore, if you will. So, Doc Ock, I don't know what them, what those goddamn arms are made of. But uh vibranium. I, I don't know if it's quite vibranium. No, it's so not I can vibranium. see that being an issue. It, I know well, whatever it is is strong. It can be Doc strong Oc only once. Yeah. <laughs> Doc, Doc, Doc Oc presents more of a problem because he is uh because of his his brain. He said yep. technologically he's he he could be a bit of a problem. Um his arms obviously. I don't know if they're stronger than vibranium, um, but the fact that he can pretty much control them with his mind um, just adds more arms and, and legs in the room for, for Black Panther to contend with. Um, ultimately, I just think that Wakanda technology is just way superior because you got to remember, Wakanda technology is arguably better than Stark technology. And a lot of Stark technology is arguably Coming from what kind of technology? So, how do you think uh, Iron Man got his fucking nano suit? Yep. I ain't want to go there. Thought, since you thought it, it was cool. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying. Dude, I'm sorry, Doc Ock. Mind capacity not even close to uh, T'Challa. 
not even close. Because you got to realize he's digging into the ancestors. He has that plane. Yeah. So whatever he doesn't know, he sure he can fix. <laughs> he will hack into those arms and have him punching himself with all eight. Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting Quit yourself. Hitting yourself. <laughs> It'll be literally be a bully fight. Damn. That was fucked up. Um, all right. Let's move on up. So <laughs> the goblins, <laughs> a.k.a. the 7-Eleven crackhead. I mean, he's fucking crazy. Call it, call a spade a spade, bro. Green Goblin is nuts. You know what I'm picturing when I see Green Goblin fighting Black Panther? You know how when, you know how like when we saw his suit was like absorbing shit. I see him throwing some of those fucking Goblin bombs down, and the suit just like absorbing all the damage, and then him getting fucked up. This is where I see it going. Because a lot of the shit that Goblin tries to pull with like Peter Parker. Like, I just can't see him overpowering T'Challa that way, you know? Yeah, but the thing is, again, mine, he'll hack into his fucking board, yeah, bring his know. ass down to his level, and it's a fucking you know map. You know what? Here's a question. How? I don't even fucking know. How does, how does Green Goblin's fucking board work? How the fuck does that thing work? It's, it's technology. It's, 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 technology. Just, it's just technology? It's, technology. it's, it's, it's like a hoverboard. It's, yeah, it's, it's technology. Um... And again, you know, it's 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 sub to to Stark technology, which is sub to Wakanda technology. So um, hmm. that's pretty much a wrap. So the question, my question is, if we get the Goblin off of his board, then does he have on. any type of chance with Black Panther? No, I mean he has strength. He does not, have strength, but not. I don't think he has. Like, I guess crackhead strength. <laughs> Stop with the crackhead joke. You're Come on, man. But he can't we can't go up against the fucking child of suits. Come on, man. No, he couldn't. He won't even put a dent in that, bro. He definitely could not. He, could not. he would But they would fight though. They, they would, would fight. Win. But the child would win. The child would still win. <laughs> the child But win. there's only one person to ever hack into that suit. And these motherfuckers is nowhere near in mental capacity to do that. All right, so so far, I mean, let's just call it what it is. This has kind of been cakewalk for T'Challa so far. I mean, I think Goblin would pre- Goblin and Doc Ock would probably be somewhat of a fight, but I do think he would like wouldn't be it wouldn't be super close. You know what I mean? Right. But now you're talking about symbiotes and venom, and this gets interesting to me because it's one of those things where it's like, well. What does the symbiote do as far as his suit? Like as far as T'Challa's suit? Can it like can the symbiote get get in the suit? Can it does Shuri have something that would just black like sound wise that would fucking take the symbiote out? Like that's and where that's it becomes also, like a question mark, you know? And you got also gotta realize she's in his ear. Yeah. 24 to fucking seven every time he puts on that suit. Yeah. They're looking for weak points. They're looking for attack points. They're looking to see where the fuck can I hit him or how can I hurt him. The thing is, he's going to take some hits a lot <laughs> from fucking Venom. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like Venom is actually going to be a fight. Like That's a fight fight. But his suit, Venom? his suit is made out of vibranium. And vibranium likes to <laughs> make noise. It does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> does. I feel like there would be some type of uh, some, something that would make the symbiote like kind of, you know, whatever. I mean, look at the, the whole suit, like you said, the whole suit is is made of vibranium threads. So, which means that it conducts electricity, it can conduct radio waves, it can conduct sound. It, you know, and, and we're okay. not even talking about his like a nano suit. Like, okay, but yeah. I, I I do want to I do want to make a point, and I I think that this is actually a valid argument if you really think about it. Think back to the Black Panther that we saw in the MCU. Okay. Remember when we saw him fight Killmonger? Mm-hmm. How did he get Killmonger's suit to glitch out like that? Wasn't it was wasn't it, it fucking vibration waves that came by? Yes. Was that yeah, sound could, or was that vibrate vibrating waves? Well, it was it was a it was a it was a uh, uh it was like, like a magnetic electromagnetic electromagnetic, yeah. electromagnetic yeah. field electromagnetic to keep the vib- field? yes to keep the vibranium because mm-hmm. vibranium by itself it's very um what is it called uh. Well, like, it'll explode literally right uh, so okay. the way that they the way that they mined um 
vibranium is is through um which I guess is why they name it vibranium is is through acoustics. Um, so that's mm -hmm. why the machines that you see um, vibrate. Wow. It's the only way to actually manipulate the metal and whatnot. Um, okay. I guess I guess the vibrations actually manipulate it on a you know on a molecular level and also and electromagnetic that it holds it into a certain form. That way it doesn't explode when they're right. lighting it and they're able to transport it. In high rate of speed without hurting themselves or blowing up the whole fucking all, all of Wakanda. So in no way, shape, or form, if they're trying to take out the symbiote, if they make like you know, obviously we've seen it done a million times. You could use a fucking bell. You can use something, but yeah. that won't affect T'Challa suit in nah. turn. Okay, nah. that, that I was gonna say because if that's like a thing, then I could see it maybe being a problem. But, but if that's gonna, not the case, then he's gonna take. He's, like I said, he's going to take a lot of hits. From Venom, I think Venom's gonna put up a fight. Like, yeah, that's he's gonna fight. put up. He's a, he's a, it's a fight. It's definitely a fucking fight. That's, that's a fight. But the thing is, those teeth, those claws, it ain't gonna fucking hurt him. Yeah, that's the thing. We've seen him get like trampled it's, and like bit and like shit like that, and that suit just withstands all the damage for him. So it's like the thing that's gonna hurt him the most is Venom throwing him fucking across the fucking <laughs> across Wakanda all over the place. That's what's gonna yeah. hurt him. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I, I, Venom definitely is the most formidable here for yeah. a lot of different reasons and whatnot. Um, Strength, the durability, thing that, fucking energy. yeah, stamina. Like yeah. you know, Venom never gets tired. Black Panther definitely will tire out at some point. Yeah. Um, but shit, all he needs is fire. I was gonna say yep. if he finds some some source of like fire or sound something, I feel like they would be able to. Come up with something that would get the suit to go fucking nuts. I feel like because the be gadgets the that he has on him, yeah. it's we, we we really get to see his the gadgets that he uses is because yeah. his hand to hand is so fucking crazy. Yeah, that he's it's it's ridiculous his hand to hand. Yeah, but from what we saw in live action was only like you know you saw a little bit of like what the suit could do capability wise, but they focused on how skilled of a fighter he actually was in a lot of the scenes. Shit, he faced a yeah. super soldier with no suit on. Yeah, yeah. it was all yeah. of them. It was all, it was just all hand to hand. Yeah, he threw some beads every once in a while, but yeah, yeah. that was for, yeah. that was like for something specific. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I was just like, you fought Bucky hand to hand. Sure did. And you held his arm. Just no suit. Held yeah, he his held, fucking held he, the arm. He held yeah. the arm down for a certain amount of time. I was like. God damn. I was like, how strong is freaking the herb? Shit. Well, the herb is crazy strong, bro. That's some yeah. shit, right? That's yeah. some shit right there, man. That's the shit that I need. I mean, I, I do think ultimately Black Panther would win the fight against Venom. I don't think it would be easy. Nah. I think he would find a way to win the fight yeah. against Venom. So here's the question, because this is a shorter gauntlet than usual, and that's fine. We can you know wrap up soon. But here's a question for you. One on one, toe to toe. Suit be suit, Spider Man, Black Panther, who wins? Black Black Panther. Black Panther wins toe to toe. Fights him, just toe takes to him toe. down. His only, his only, his Spider -Man only. Spider Man doesn't give him any issues. The only thing that gives him issues is uh, the anticipation, his Spidey sense. That's what yep. I was gonna say. The Spidey sense. I feel like it plays a factor in that fight. It plays a factor. Yeah. But, but but it, thing, it, it can't. It can't play a factor for too long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like. I think he'll get he'll get tired before he um Peter will get tired before Peter he will get tired yeah, before he and, does. And, and let's not forget, you know, we look at Black Panther as a superhero, but he is a hunter. You understand? He understands, you know, different tactics of, of, of hunting and how to catch prey. Uh and I think that Spider-Man would be at a disadvantage with that. And would you know, and, and would the suit turn off his senses? Yeah. That's the other question. I've never, I, I, I've, I gotta read, read up on it and see if Black Panther ever fought Spider Man. But if he could turn off his sensors with the suit and not and, and fuck with his Spidey sense, mm. that's where, that's where I'm getting at. And then the only person that I see that can maybe keep up with him is Iron Man because of with, Jarvis with T'Challa, with T'Challa, because of, because mm. of Jarvis. Possible. That that's the only, but then still, Black Panther will take it because of the vibranium. I think that a lot of I, I think that a lot of people who are um, more so like 
obviously just MCU fans, let's put it that way, like think certain things about Black Panther and don't realize just quite how strong Black Panther actually is in the comics because he's crazy strong, stupidly strong. And he hasn't even reached <laughs> his fucking arc yet. There's a reason why in the comics, Black Panther's part of the Illuminati and like he plays a big factor in a lot of things, which is why Marvel technically, even though they're picking up the story with T'Challa's son, uh, you know, they, they couldn't let that character just go. In a sense, it's too important to the overarching MCU in the long run. Exactly. Well. And also, you got to realize Black Panther is one of the few that's taken a punch from fucking the Incredible Hulk. Full True. rage. True. Full in fucking rage. Face. In the face. And live to tell about it. <laughs> so, I don't know if he was fucked up in that suit, but he lived to tell about it. <laughs> I mean, only a few people can say they've taken a punch from Hulk and been good. I won't fight no more, Gina. I won't fight no more, Gina. Because <laughs> so, it, it, it's it, it. the thing is, I want to see if we get a T'Challa versus Iron Man, or a T'Challa versus Namor, or a T'Challa versus Hulk, just to see it happen. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. I mean, they they left that they obviously left the door open introducing T'Challa's son at the end of Black Panther two. Spoiler alert: If you didn't see the movie, <laughs> shame, on you. shame on you if you didn't. <laughs> and but, also, you have the 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 superior superior Iron Man, but you also have if Infinity Black Panther. <laughs> the man, like I always say, the man owns seven galaxies. Yep. <laughs> you could take Bruce Wayne's money and put it in his fucking left. Fucking sock pocket. <laughs> oh, sock man. pocket? What kind of socks you got, bro? <laughs> He's rich. He invented that shit. Sock pocket. Oh man. Uh Chase, you're muted. I uh, say, so, yeah, yeah, that's that's a fact. Uh Bruce Wayne's money is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> True. You broke, son. <laughs> you, broke, you, broke, son. You, you take Bruce Wayne's money and buy buy Black Panther's watch. <laughs> <laughs> broke so, you do that. That's a, that's, I just I want to see I would love to see it I need to see it well, well we'll see what they're gonna do in the future with the character the you know thinking, you know yeah we'll there will be a, there'll be a reboot of the entire thing one day okay, I, so I, 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 I really, what I mean, is that kid? He may be 80 years old when they do um, shit, but, no you know. Leo I've already told you bro I, the the whole thing with um they, so you also have to remember, we just talked about this with we're talking about the Marvels, bro. However old that kid is, is fairly irrelevant because now they're about to introduce Young Avengers. You could plop him on the Young Avengers for now until he's fucking ready. Now the MCU is so old. I don't mean to say it this way, but like I'm going to use the phrase all over the place. And what I mean by that is you could just pluck people from fucking timelines. So if you just go to a different timeline and pluck that kid out. And then you're like, oh, he's 15 years older now. Now he's in his fucking 20s, and it is what it is. There's, there's late I think, is he in the 616? Is he in this? Uh, ver, uh, ver, he is in this. Okay. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's in 616. He's in 616. Okay. And it all depends on when Wakanda Forever is set as well. You have to remember. Oh, yeah, they're coming out with the show. I forgot about that. Yeah. So it's like, you know, by the time you get back to him, he could be fucking 12. And then at that point, he's 12. You put him on the Young Avengers until he's ready to go. You know what I mean? <laughs> Call it what yeah. it is. So yeah, he, 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 they're right probably here, he, right now. How old did you guys think that he was in uh Black Panther? He was, pre- he was probably seven or eight at the most in that movie. So how long has that been already? That movie came out. The movie came out a year and a half ago, two years ago, something like that. So he's 13 now. So give him another three years. Uh, yeah, 16 well, years old. I'm saying. And then if you soft reboot the MCU eventually in the future and you don't worry about Black Panther for a while, you could say, Oh, we're back in the future. Yada yada yada. Mm-hmm. And here yeah, he is, yeah. grown up. Dude, imagine if he falls in love with Storm in that saga. Happen. That, that, oh. that is gonna happen. <laughs> I'm yeah, saying yeah, with yeah. X-Men coming in, that's gonna happen. Promise you. Oh god, that would be so good. <laughs> that would yeah. be anyway, so fucking good. All right, we're t- we're tangenting here. So I think basically what we're trying to tell you is don't plop T'Challa in a universe where he has to fight Spider-Man characters because they're not gonna be able to get much done. He's gonna <laughs> fuck them all up. He's looking at Spider Man like, what, what you doing, bro? <laughs> it's like this. This is this, this is what you have a problem with on a day to day room. What are you bro? doing? Like, what the hell are you doing like, in Queens, bro? Like, what the fuck? Like, first of all, <laughs> let my sister make you a new suit. Like, <laughs> like, when when Spider Man shows up, he's already like, 
Peter, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to call him by his government? Peter Parker. You missed it. No, no, I'm I'm not Peter Parker. Like, yeah, you're Peter Parker. <laughs> hey, Peter Parker, how you doing? <laughs> what? You're fell in, ge you fell in geometry. You do know that, right? I know. Damn, the grades and everything. Shit. <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean, ultimately, Black Panther runs this gauntlet. He probably, honestly, I don't know what really gives him much of an issue in the Spider-Man universe, quote unquote. Thinking about it, maybe symbiotes, but outside of that. I mean, I don't really know what else would give him an issue as far as a fight goes. So, ultimately, what we're trying to say is, runs the gauntlet. He's a problem in the Spider-Man universe. Sony, don't call him up for any movies. Uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to get embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> Severely. Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to hit you guys with the quick spiel. Your boys just hit 500 subscribers, and we are excited Ew. about it. We appreciate you guys with all the love and support you've given us on our recent videos. But now, of course, we have to ask you for more. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We need that thousand subscribers next. We know we're going to get there. Um, so, yes, please continue. Click the like and subscribe button below. Also, please check us out on all forms of social media. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Twitch, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Kick and Rumble for all your viewing and listening needs. And until next time. And forever. And forever. Deuces. <laughs>